Hello everyone, so I just downloaded the latest 2024 uh, version of ZBrush and in this version they released something called uh, Anchors and the way Anchors work is uh, it allows you to deform your uh, character into various poses without using joints or uh, masking. So I just thought uh, maybe uh, why not give it a shot and maybe demonstrate how this works. So. Uh, in this case, I just went to Lightbox and grabbed mail.zpr and if you uh, go to your brushes, you can see that Anchors is something that is now available in ZBrush, in the latest version of ZBrush. And if you turn your X on, you can have your active symmetry on and this, this will allow you to uh, click once to set a point, a pivot point, and then the uh, second point is going to be the action point, which is going to drive uh, the, the motion, right? So you can kind of decide what pose you want. So maybe if I wanted to bend his knee, for example, I could do that. And um, if I didn't want symmetry, maybe I want to raise his leg up and then, you know, do something like this. So it allows you to quickly uh, have some kind of control all right so that's cool uh the uh as a as a test uh let's do this let's go to lightbox and i'm gonna reset my pose real quick and just as an exercise uh why don't i insert a uh, box and i'm just going to simply uh scale my box down let's just see if we can get this character to sit on the box just as a uh fun test right so i'm gonna go on the side view i'm gonna jump out of my perspective camera mode and just put this down somewhere here let's see if we can get him to uh, sit on this box right all right i'm gonna go back into my draw and now uh, if i select my uh, character i can go to rotate and let's first maybe change his kind of get him in a sitting position maybe his feet can be uh, dangling down a little bit grab my move and just put him on the box all right and let's see what else can we do maybe we can raise his arms up or actually let's just maybe lower them down and have him have him do something like this. All right, maybe he's posing for uh, something. All right, and another thing we can do is maybe let's also uh, have him look up. All right, so there you go. So you, uh, that's, this is the new uh, feature in ZBrush and I just wanted to kind of demonstrate it and see how it works. Now one other thing that I wanted to uh, point out is if you don't use symmetry and you turn off symmetry and you change uh, maybe let's change his leg right and now uh, for whatever reason maybe I still want to make changes uh, to this uh, mesh but the character is no longer symmetrical right. Um, I want to point out if you go to uh, let's say we want to grab something like the inflate brush and let's say I want to maybe inflate his calves But I want to do it on both sides. How do I do it if he's not symmetrical? Um, there is something you can do you can go to transform Activate your active symmetry and in here you have something called use posable symmetry if I click on that um, You can see that even though my leg is not symmetrical or positioned in the same manner I can still come in here and maybe, you know, work on his calves. Um, and you can see that because the uh, topology of the mesh is symmetrical, it's finding symmetry even uh, even if the character is posed not in a symmetrical way. So keep that in mind. That's kind of uh, really useful, especially working with the anchor brush. I think that's important. And I don't know why, but I always feel like whenever I grab this guy in ZBrush, the male ZPR, uh, his hands are super, super thin. I don't know his fingers. 
I always feel like I need to inflate them a little bit to make them a little more normal, but uh, just my own personal uh, opinion. But anyway, so this is the new uh, brush. If you um, can download it, check it out. Uh, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.